Um, I chose to do my research project on marijuana and athletes, and more specifically, if athletes should be allowed to use medical marijuana to help relieve their pain and just and not like have it affect if they're going to be kicked out of like their competition. Um, why should athletes be allowed to use marijuana? Athletes should be allowed to use marijuana because it relieves their pain. It can help them manage their stress and anxiety. Marijuana is proven to not be a performance enhancer like other drugs such as steroids. And it's also less addictive than other drugs like opioids. Um, a lot of athletes use opioids to help relieve their pain and it's not the safest option. Um, one of the quotes from my articles that I chose says, while some experts agree that it has potential harmful effects to help others say that the research to, th to date suggests that cannabis is not more harmful than alcohol. <coughs> I think this is an important quote because it shows that cannabis and alcohol are very similar. And if alcohol isn't banned from like the US Anti-Doping Agency and the World Anti-Doping Agency, then why should marijuana be? Um, this is why athletes shouldn't be allowed to use marijuana. It does come with long-term, short-term, physical, and mental effects. Um, some long-term effects are still being studied, but the short-term effects are shown to have like breathing, like lung problems, and it just kind of like, it's kind of like, but like physical effects is like your lung problems and you are kind of like out of it. Your like coordination isn't always the best. Um, another reason athletes shouldn't be allowed to use marijuana is because they are being paid to compete at the highest level. And if, for example, like say you're like the CEO of like a big company and you show up to your meeting and you're just like, out of this world high, like that's obviously not going to go over very well and you're going to lose your job pretty fast. So why should athletes be allowed to when that is like their job that they're being paid for? It also could be a risk for like potential false advertising when an athlete is seen like smoking a joint and their, their um, fans see that. It could encourage their fans of like younger generations they're like, oh my gosh, like that's cool, I wanna do that, you know, which is not okay for the youth to be doing. And it's also a bad idea for athletes to use marijuana because it, they could become dependent on it and become addicted to it. Here's a little video about Shikari Richardson, who was recently kicked out of the 2020 Tokyo Olympics for a positive marijuana drug test. It's official. The fastest woman in America, Shakari Richardson, will not be competing in any events at the Tokyo Olympics. Tonight, USA Track and Field announcing she will not run the 4x100 relay, her last chance to make the team. Richardson earned a ticket to Tokyo with that dramatic victory in the women's 100 meter at the U.S. Olympic trials. I just want the world to know that I'm that girl. But following that jubilation, the 21-year-old tested positive for marijuana, a banned substance. Yeah, I know what I'm supposed to do. Um, no, no, I'm, I'm allowed not to do, and I still made that decision. Richardson was suspended for a month and disqualified from running the 100 meter at the Olympics. Her suspension ends before the relay. More than half a million people signed an online petition to let Shakari run. Tonight, USA Track and Field saying they support reevaluating the rules surrounding marijuana use. But, quote, while our heartfelt understanding lies with Shakari, we must also maintain fairness for all of the athletes. As Tokyo puts the final touches on the Olympics, this news no doubt will disappoint fans. But Richardson has vowed to come back stronger, promising to be a world champion next year. I think this video is important because it shows that Shikari acknowledges that she knows what she did was wrong, but in her case she was mourning through the loss of her biological mother, and that's how she chose to cope with the death of her parent. And then it's also important because in here it states that like 
it's it's starting to like create a change where the stigma against marijuana use and athletes is starting to get broken down a little bit and it's becoming more of like an openly talked about subject that's like willing to change. It's official. Um, these are just some examples of like how athletes can use marijuana. There's like CBD lotions and oils and then there's also like dow pens which is pretty much just like vaping it and then um, like joints and edibles. Um, CBD oils and lotions are mostly used when you like if an athlete is like has chronic injury or pain somewhere on their body and can just <coughs> kind of like rub it on and help relieve some of their pain. It also helps relieve like n nausea sometimes in certain athletes. Um, it's kind of a difficult thing because it's in order to figure out what works for you specifically, you have to experiment with it and it's not like a doctor can just prescribe you a certain amount of weed to go smoke. Like you kind of got to experiment with it and see what works for you. Um, this is the cartoon that I put in my research paper and I think it's really important. Um, this guy is saying that using a recreational drug to make life more bearable is simply like not accepted in society. But then it's like very kind of hypocritical because there's a, a guy here serving him an alcoholic beverage. And I think it's just like, okay, you're saying that this shouldn't be allowed, but yet you're using another source of like alcohol and to relieve kind of your everyday stress. Um, this guy is Floyd Landis. Floyd was a professional cyclist. He had hip surgery. And after his hip surgery, he became addicted to opioids. Um, once he was addicted to opioids, he realized that that was not a healthy thing. And he discovered marijuana, and it helped him recover from his opioid addiction. Um, a quote from the article about Landis says, Landis says he became interested in cannabis as a pain reliever after developing an addiction to opioids following his surgery. I think this was really good for Floyd, because opioids are far more dangerous than marijuana. and by using marijuana, he's still able to relieve his pain, but he's not addicted to opioids. In my personal opinion, and after doing all my research, I believe that athletes should be allowed to use marijuana if they are in a state where it's legal and they are of legal age. Um, it's not shown to be a performance enhancer, so it still allows athletes to have all, like, they're all equal, like, nobody has an unfair advantage over somebody else. And yeah, here's all my sources. Yes, Kate. Would you consider smoking marijuana um, sort of cheating because the athletes aren't able to deal with their stress? Do you think it's kind of similar how? Athletes aren't allowed to take steroids, but it boosts their ability to play, so so does marijuana. That makes sense. Like, why should, like, sorry, let say it again. So do you think that marijuana, smoking marijuana is sort of like cheating compared to like steroids, how it boosts their ability to play? Do you think marijuana, um, since it helps with their anxiety, do you think it could be considered cheating? No, I don't think it's considered cheating because it's not proven to have any performance enhancing capabilities. And if somebody is smoking marijuana, it's the only thing it's going to do is harm them. It's not going to help them improve at all. It's just going to take back from their ability to perform. Yeah. Do most athletes use CBD oil or do they actually smoke a joint to relieve like pain or smoke a joint like for mental um, purposes while CBD oil is more physical? Most athletes use CBD oils and lotions, but what they don't realize is there's actual THC in some of them. And even though they're not like using edibles or smoking before um, an event or competition, the THC in the oils and the lotion will still show up on their drug test. And that's how they're going to get like, disqualified. Yeah. If an athlete in a state where it's legal uses marijuana compared to an athlete in a state where it's not legal, do you think that creates an unfair advantage? <clears throat> I, yeah, a little bit because the athlete in the state where it's legal is able to 
have that option and the affidavit in the state where it's not legal, like doesn't have that to help them manage their pain and stress and anxiety. So I think that is one of the flaws where the rules are gonna have to change in order to make it fair for everybody. So then do you think it should be regulated throughout the US? I, I, yeah, I think medical marijuana should be regulated throughout all.